Hey everyone, it's Everything Eep here. Today, I am going to be taking a look at Steam on Windows 7 on the very last day of support. After today, which is 31st of December 2023, Steam on Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 will no longer be supported and will no longer run, although the wording on that is pretty confusing and has changed a few times now. We're going to take one last look at Steam on Windows 7 to see what it's like to use on the last day of support. Alright, so today is December 31st of 2023, which is the absolute last day that Steam on Windows 7 and 8.1 is going to be supported. So today I'm going to log into Steam and check out what it looks like uh, at the end of 2023. So I have the computer here, I have a Windows 7 computer. Yeah, as you can see, the machine boots up pretty quickly because it has an SSD inside of it. So it doesn't take that long to boot up at all. And yeah, as you can see, this is my Windows 7 machine. So there's a lot going on here. It's quite bloated because I've used it for a lot of things that I can't use Linux for. For example, the Jarmin Express app I've used to update um, a GPS and I've used Crime Reflect to clone disks. But today we're gonna go check out Steam and see what it's like. So let me connect to the network. Uh-oh. So it seems like the network's not connecting so I'm gonna need to use my phone's hotspot. Here we go, we're connected to the internet now and we're gonna open Steam. So as you can see, it's updating Steam for the last time, probably. It's updating it to include the time bomb, maybe. And Steam just crashed. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so it works. But it says Steam will stop running on Windows 7 in zero days, which is pretty funny. <laughs> so we're going to click on it just to open the website. It's like, if you look at the reason why they dropped the support, it kind of makes sense because of the Chromium thing and the fact that they couldn't support such old versions of Chromium anymore. But yeah. So the initial notice was this, Windows 7, Windows 8 support. As of January 1st, 2024, Steam will officially stop supporting Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. After that date, the Steam client will no longer run on these versions of Windows. It says in order to continue running Steam, you'll have to update to a newer version of Windows. So that's what they said. This was back in March of 2023 when they said this, December now. It says that we'll, we'll no longer receive updates of any kind and Steam will be unable to guarantee continued functionality of the unsupported operating system versions. And they said that after, it might start keep functioning after January 1st, 2024, but they're unable to guarantee continued functionality after that date. So hopefully the library tab doesn't require running on Chromium because uh, the library tab is basically all you need, right? Like you can always buy games online and then download them using the library tab. Or you likely, if you're like me, you likely have a newer machine. In this case, I can use my Linux laptop and I can run uh, Steam using that. So yeah, they still got all of these games and you can still download games from your library. So for example, uh, Geometry Dash 2.2 just came out and this was an update that I've been waiting for for a long time. But even 2.2 works on Windows 7, which is pretty amazing that it still works. So as you can see, games still work on Steam and I'd expect games would still work um, in 2024 because they've changed their wording now. They've said that um, they we're not going to unsupport the operating systems, but it's basically not guaranteed to work after January 1st. And that probably means that I'd have to guess that installing new copies of Steam probably wouldn't work. So the basically, if you have it installed already, just don't uninstall it and you'll be good. But I'd have to assume that because the because of the, the wording that Valve's using. Again, it's not really clear what they mean by their, their wording is very vague. But for now, this today is, I guess, the last day of Steam on Windows 7, officially the last day. You can even go offline. Which I guess if you want, you could always just go offline and um, just play on offline for like a month or something of, of, for how long it takes to go offline on Steam. So yeah, go check for Steam client updates. Nope, it's already up to date. It, that's basically Steam for Windows 7. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video and don't want to watch the recap, you can click off right now. But if you want to watch the recap, keep watching because it's going to start soon. Well, if you're still watching the video, I'm going to talk about my YouTube channel this year and how it's done in the year 2023. This is a video series I've been doing since 2021. However, 
I'm attaching it to another video because most people don't really watch my recap series. I didn't upload more videos like I planned to last year unfortunately. In fact, this year I only uploaded 10 full length videos, down from 12 videos that I uploaded in 2022. This is something I really need to work on as it is affecting my channel's potential. I did upload 3 shorts in 2023, however I wouldn't really count shorts as actual videos as they don't require much effort to produce. However, this year was extremely successful for my YouTube channel. Despite my non-existent upload schedule, my subscriber count quadrupled from around 525 subscribers at the beginning of the year to nearly 2200 subscribers at the end of this year. My view count also skyrocketed with nearly half a million channel wide views. This is all due to one video that I made which is of course my switching to Graphene OS video. This video did extremely well garnering over 210,000 views by the time I'm writing the script for this video and being the main driving force for my channel in 2023. I doubt I will have another video as successful as this video in 2024 but at least I have a decent audience going into this year. My plans for 2024 are to at least double my subscriber count by the end of the year, if not surpass that. I also plan on uploading more videos in the first half of the year as I have a very light next semester in school, meaning plenty of time to work on YouTube videos. I also plan on making more shorts throughout 2024, especially at times when I can't make full length videos due to my IRL schedule. That's all I really have for this year's recap. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you all next year.